Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Fake good one here, and eventually we will. Seriously, like, subscribe. It's hard to grow on YouTube. That algorithm is a mystery to me. But we're here to review Werewolf by Night, which actually, when I saw the trailer, I was pleasantly surprised. Marvel trying to do something different that actually looks interesting to me because they've really dropped the ball on the TV side of things. It's a bunch of filler and fluff until they wait till the, the final episode to try to cram everything in because they just messed around too much. And I, I was also curious, how, how would this actually set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it's very stylized. It's very, it's in black and white and it's like classic horror movies. But if you just put it in color, it probably fits perfectly fine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where something like She-Hulk feels like it's dumbing down the entire reality of the Marvel Cinematic Universe just for the sake of jokes that I don't even find funny. I know some people do. And Phase 4 of Marvel has really dropped the ball for me, not just on the TV side, but on the movie side. Most of the things are just sloppy all over the place, and Thor, Love and Thunder, especially really cheesy over the top. Now, while this look cheesy and over the top kind of tells from the crypt style, it, it still looked interesting to me. So, all timestamp positives, and then all timestamp the not-so-positives on this Werewolf by Night, the first of hopefully more Marvel specials. A stylized, nostalgic take venturing into the horror side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe that plays it family friendly while managing to be brutal in its own right and rack up the body count classic black and white horror film complete with occasional film drain, flicker, slash, and scream intro and good enough Wolfman look. Uh, that classic werewolf by night look delivers blood, dismemberment, and some awesome characters from Marvel Comics. Uh, I expected a completely cheesy, cranked up to like 11 story, but it, it's taken more serious than that. It, it, there are some slight amusements, uh, some line deliveries. From the trailer that uh, are most of them are from the trailer the ones that are top-notch uh, they're mostly already seen in the trailer they all be rotting for you line that comes off like Crypt Keeper tells from the crypt there's some decent decent action in here some tension building scenarios excellent lighting a clear 3x structure setup hunt payoff it's a simple but interesting story about a group of hunters called together to compete against each other on a monster hunt with some unexpected surprise well i expected them so let's just say some expected surprises and twists along the way jack and the monster they're supposed to be hunting are the most interesting there's a great dynamic in there and i hope to see more specials on the not so positive side of things aside from jack elsa most of the characters are treated pretty one-dimensional um lacking in depth they're just to kind of add to the body count and for werewolf at night there's a lack of werewolf at night for only half of it you get some werewolf at night and that feels a bit imbalanced too like too short of a runtime that should have been increased to better flesh out certain characters it's very much a family family friendly toned down in the horror despite blood splatter on screen and brutal deaths they could have done more with this as it stands i mean it's pretty likable but also, it could have and should have been more fleshed out. Because this is on Disney Plus, your own platform. You make up the runtime. And you could have stretched it out, fleshed things out a bit more. Like these other hunter characters. Give us more 
that would be better. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with this next, though. I like this. I would give it, like, a solid 6 out of 10. I, I think it's likable. It's enjoyable. It's certainly interesting to do something like this in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it was good enough for what it was. I like the monster that they're supposed to be hunting uh, more so than anything else in here. And... I'm not going to spill those beans, but most people I'm pretty sure already know what, what the monster is, who the monster is, and it's just awesome to see that character again. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, how do you feel about it? Like, subscribe, seriously, subscribe. Stay awesome. Rock on.